Hello there everyone, Ashen Flash here, and welcome into another early 2020 set review. Today we're going to be looking at set number 71708, The Gamer's Market, and it has 218 pieces and is retailing for $29.99 USD and $39.99 Canadian starting on January 1st. And I've never done a review, I think, with this many minifigures, and it is going to be such a challenge giving you all the names and I'm gonna try my best I apologize I have not purchased I think ever a Ninjago TV show set before um, I bought the dimensions packs then I bought a lot of Lego Ninjago movie sets but never any of the ones from the show but I couldn't pass up this set and I also bought another one just because I really wanted the build and the minifigure and you probably know already what it is but 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 anyways 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 we're here to talk about this set and there's going to be a few revelations in here that's going to surprise you. So stick around, share this video, because this is going to be a first. This is an Ashen Flash exclusive, all right? But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's... All right, let's start with the center build in all the pictures. This is what was in the center. And the architecture here is just so amazing. I love the megaphone pieces there in red to create this sort of texture. It just looks really, really awesome. As well as these parts here, like it just looks so iconic or, or authentic is the word that I'm looking for, but also just this neo sort of technological vibe. Like it just looks so great. And I love the katanas here in red and I've personally never gotten them in red before. So this gets me excited. And uh, this piece as well, the sticker on that tile looks absolutely phenomenal. And that is the colors of like the emperor uh, from this wave. So that's pretty interesting. I don't know what like this dojo is meant to be or whatever this building sort of thing is. Uh, it could be like a gate to the temple. But uh, in the picture, it does have the sword uh, that we don't know what this is. We, like, again, the show hasn't aired yet, but it does have this new sword piece, which just looks absolutely amazing. They are trying to collect these throughout all the sets, and I uh, got a question mark there. And normally, like, this is video game based, right? So I'm trying to think, like, I don't know. I don't know. I think of Mario when I see question marks and things in games. So that's really cool. It doesn't actually, like, sit in there. It doesn't lock. It's it's just loose. Like, you tip it upside down, it falls out. And unfortunately, it shows it that you just are supposed to have that there. But I wish that this was one of the 2x2 two two tiles with the stud on it so that you could actually put that on there and have that stuck in there. But I don't know. It's a bit of a shame. But that is that. And Oh, that's a sticker, by the way. It's not a print. So... Yeah, it's cool. I've never gotten that piece, the 2x2 two two transparent uh, cylinder there. Never gotten that in pink, so that's that's really cool, and I'm excited about that. And There's a lot of pieces in this set that I'm like, wow, first time, for me anyways, first time. And there is a few first times I looked it up uh, for the pieces actually being included in that color, but we'll get to that. And here is this weapon hut, and it's supposed to be, again, it's a gamer's market, right? So you come here and you get your weapons. You also get some Gatorade or something there, but it's really cool. All these parts that I believe are brand new, like they just look so great. Actually, I'm I'm not sure. I'm really confused, but I've I've personally never gotten these before. These little daggers, like that, looks so amazing. As well as these parts. Oh wow! Like I feel like I just drew something. What was it? Oh, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. I remember drawing this. Um, but yeah, it, it looks really really great. And these swords on the top as well you do have a blade here that can spin and uh, that's a new piece for this uh, for this season of Ninjago and here you've got a sticker of the sword which just looks really cool or this sort of dagger on the inside I guess of the store you have uh, this katana here in light blue light sky blue in red and this cool dragon sword sort of build there using one of the short katana pieces that come in a bag like uh, the Spider-Man power, the Spider-Man webs and the DC power blast and all that. Um, so that looks really cool. I love the dragon handle for that. And yeah, that looks really cool. So you just put in the holster there. And uh, it's interesting because these little uh, display pieces are using the First Order shields. That's what I call them since that was the first time I think that they ever came out. But yeah, look at that there. You can, I guess, fold and close up the shop, um, but you can't close the main door but you can uh, rotate this how you would 
however you want. But I don't know, it's, it's cool to identify that. And you'll see in this next thing that it also has the same sort of style sign there, but a hat shop. So it's really cool. It's called an item market. And uh, 125 CR, I'm going to guess that stands for credits. We have this cute little hat rack there, which just looks really great. You can see it has a whole plethora of uh, different hats and accessories. I like the, the space suit here, the space helmet here in blue, uh, updated and not cracked. So I believe that's the first time that we're getting that updated. So that's that's really cool. And just some of these pieces are really, really awesome. Like that's from Harry Potter and oh my goodness, just, there's just so many cool things here. And uh, on the box itself, it actually has uh, Zane being put here, right on those two little jumper parts. Um, I guess that suit or that style of Zane the pink suit is meant to be for sale there. And uh, yeah, nothing else going on here. You, can, uh, you can't really bend anything else backwards, but you can bend the sign backwards. And oh, that's a sticker, that's a sticker, that's a sticker. And speaking of stickers, before we look at the minifigures, on the actual sticker sheet, they have all these leftovers and oh, it has a little plus sign there. I never saw that until now. So these are just extras and I'm not entirely sure what you're supposed to do with these. These can fit on one by two tiles. These I think can fit on cylinder pieces or the, the flat studs and these on one by one flat tiles. So that's kind of interesting. I have no idea what these are for, what kind of customization uh, they're wanting you to do with this, and I don't know if this is exclusive to this set or not, but we'll get to the bottom of that in uh, when I look at the other one, but that's really interesting that this is included in the set for you to customize, and there's some pretty cool prints here that you can actually put um, in on other tiles if you wanted to expand upon the gamer's market and everything. I think that that's, that's really, really cool. I like that a lot. All right, let the butchering of the names of the minifigures begin with DigiJ, and we're going to go in order of what's on the front of the box here. And this is DigiJ, Digital J, and he is using this cool like scythe piece there attached to a transparent chain in this bright green. I love that a lot. I've never gotten that chain in that color before. The swords here are in the very light lime green. And uh, again, first for me, but not a first for the actual katana piece. But this is a brand new um, neck attachment here, which just looks really, really great. And you could see there on the, the back how it works. So it holds two katanas, and you know how these work. You just slide them in and out like that on each side. But then it actually has this peg spot for you to actually put in this like health bar for the ninja as well as the villains of the series. And uh, you could see maybe power level or something, but it has a little ninja mask, just like the stickers do. So that's kind of interesting. Maybe you could put the stickers on that if you wanted to put the blue one there for uh, Jay. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Again, I'm trying to be really careful with what I deem a new piece or not, but this is a new hood piece. I think. I think. Um, but yeah, this doesn't look like anything that we've gotten before. It has a Ninjago symbol on the front there. Let me know down below in the comment section what that is. I'm going to guess it's a, just a J um, or L maybe for lightning. Uh, but uh, taking off the hood wrap there. I don't know. Now I'm getting worried if it's not. Oh my goodness. I think it is. It looks really robotic and digitally. But uh, he does have this brand new face print there with this. Actually, I don't know. Maybe that's like a VR goggles or something that he has on. Um, but let me show you the back printing as well as his alternate face print. He has this really cool smile there, little little smirky, cocky smile there going on. And uh, that's his back printing as well. So that's cool to get this uh, exclusive face print there. Now, I could be wrong in saying this, but we all thought that this was Lloyd. But according to the box, his name is Scott. And that's interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. New character, I guess, Scott and uh, we have not been watching him for a while now and uh anyway <laughs> and this isn't the uh the character that we thought which is interesting but uh the hat there looks really cool using the hidden side one there i'm excited to see this uh appear in more and more sets but i just don't want the printing on it i think that would be good so actually the hat printing it's fine it could be used uh i i do like that though what color is that is that is that a copper sort of color or no it's just a reddish brown but yeah, on camera, I don't know, it kind of looks like this coppery color, but the eyes there look really interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think that, I'm guessing this is somebody, I'm guessing that this is a, a video game avatar or an NPC or something. 
um, because just the digitally effect going on there. The other ninja don't appear to have that on their face, and also their like skin color hasn't changed. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. And there's the back printing. He's also got the same sort of scythe uh, piece that Jay had, so that's that's cool. And I love this color, by the way. I just think that that's such a cool and unique looking color. But let's move on to the next one. And here is Avatar Cole, and this is him with some sort of mustache disguise on, I, I, or he just grew it out, I guess. We'll have to wait and see, season 12, but uh, the torso isn't new or anything, but uh, it's, it's interesting. He's got this sort of lumberjack, uh, rough and tough guy sort of vibe going on there, but uh, let's take off his mustache and hairpiece. So that's really cool. I'm excited about that. And yeah, look at that little smirk there. That's really great. And uh, yeah, that's it for Cole. Here is Avatar Nia and she looks really great here. And uh, the torso isn't, uh, this is, we've gotten it in a people pack or maybe it was the minifigure pack, but either way, it's nothing new. And uh, she, I like that their outfits are representative of like their elemental power. So like Cole's was like, like a pickaxe for like earth and like the lumberjack sort of stuff and here she is here in like this this scuba gear which i really like that's that's pretty awesome but uh, let's take off the hair and the breathing mask and there is her face there and then a more happier one on the back and you can see the back printing there with the zipper i like this torso and here is avatar pink zane and he looks phenomenal here the og ninja wrap there in pink looks so so amazing oh my goodness this has been a figure this has been a character uh that they've wanted for zane for i, I don't know how long like oh my goodness this variant has been highly requested. He looks really cool. I love this figure so much. This is one of the best parts of it for sure. And taking off the wrap there, you can see his other face print. Nothing new, but I like the wrap, the, the printing there on the back and uh, the printing on the face, that wacky smile for Zane. But yeah, what a, what a great looking minifigure. Definitely, I think, the best one in the set. And here is Okino. 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 We're going to go with either one of those. You pick the one that sounds the best. And he is a new character. I'm just judging by the hairpiece here. And maybe he exists in game. And he does share the exact same hairpiece as the Emperor. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about Season 12. But it is interesting, though. That head, however, was used a long time ago for Karloff all those years ago. Oh, my goodness. But uh, it's cool to get that face print here again. And uh, look at the back there. Wow. Good, good alternate face print. And uh, let's just quickly take off the satchel or whatever this is so you can so you can get a better look at the back printing. And that's it for Okino. Okino. And here is Avatar Harumi. And oh my goodness, I was trying to catch up on Ninjago for this new season. And that plot twist just took me by surprise. And anyways, here she is here. And uh, I love this hair piece in white. That's really, really awesome. And just, I don't know, I get a Kill Bill sort of vibe here from this outfit. Like the yellow and everything. But really cool. I like it a lot. And taking a look at the back there really awesome i think that this is just so unique and uh it's interesting that this is her avatar outfit here is richie one of the new villains that pop up in a couple of the sets and he's got a black gaming controller there and this really cool uh piece here it was used recently i think for the christmas tree i want to say but i really like that piece we also get some orange katanas the new chest piece there, the neck attachment in black, as well as an orange lightsaber piece, which is really cool. I've never gotten that before. And you could see there, you've got a skull and he's got full health or power or whatever that is. And uh, yeah, I like the torso printing and everything and the leg printing. That looks really, really cool. And the visor doesn't flip up or anything, but this uh, hair piece is connected to it. We've gotten that before. It's just this rubbery piece. And let's quickly take a look underneath. And that's what the back printing looks like there, and as well as the head. 
can really get a good look at that from behind. And here is the red visor is the name of it. And he's also a villain here. And he has two different head prints, but we'll look at that after uh, we take a look of that without all the pieces on and everything. He has the Lego Movie rifle piece there with lightsaber hilt in red. Comes with some red katanas and underneath. And underneath all that, you can actually see on the back that he has another alternate face print there as well as some really detailed back printing and I forgot to say but I like that he has some foot printing that's really really awesome and what a great looking digitally I don't know just so robotic but also this technologically based villain I just think it looks really cool and creepy at the same time well there you have it everyone that is the Ninjago gamers market and this is based off of season 12 and we haven't seen it yet we don't know what's going on, so all these characters and different things, a couple of them, I we don't know who they are. And I'm just, uh, I'm really excited about this set. I'm excited for the success of this set, because hopefully this means that we'll get more of these in the future. And if they look like this, I'll pick them all up. Like, this this is so, so amazing. The minifigures that you're getting in here is great. And the builds are equally fantastic. And the sticker sheet as well. Like, that's that's really awesome to be getting... Anyways, uh, this set is fantastic, and I think for the price, like, this is like a people's pack, right? Except cheaper, I think? But, yeah, it's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing, and I'm... I have no words. I, I've talked about this enough, and this is just such a beautiful set, and I really recommend getting it, even if you're just, like, a casual Ninjago fan. Like, the minifigures that you're getting in here are amazing for world building and all that stuff but anyways everyone i hope that you did enjoy this review stick around we've got one more ninjago review coming out sometime this week i'm really excited to uh, build that set and review it so let me know what you think it is down below in the comment section and i want to hear your thoughts about this set but i hope that you did enjoy this video and i hope that you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one